Stephen, we'll come to the game in a moment, but I have to start with what happened near the end. What was said um, to to your player, to, to Glenn Kamara, that, that resulted in those scenes? He's been racially abused, Emma. Um, I've built a relationship up with this player over close to three years now. Uh, I trust him with my life um, and I'll stand toe to toe with him and I'll support him in uh, anything I need to support him in. Um, some things happen during your own career and during um, football matches that are bigger than football. And unfortunately, um, this game will be soured by, by, uh, by that incident. Um, I think it's important for me to stress that we were beaten over the two legs by the better team. Uh, congratulations to Slavia. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck to them moving forward. Got some real good players, good coach, a good way of playing. Very difficult opponent. Um, there's no way we're going to use uh, any excuses or to try and um, you know have a scenario that covers that up. We were beaten by the better team, but some things are bigger than football, and um, I need to stand toe to toe with me player now and support them in any way I can. And um, I'm proud of my players. Um, on the pitch, I'm proud of them. The journey that took us on in Europe uh, during the title race has been phenomenal. We would have loved to have gone one step further tonight, but it wasn't to be. Um, but something's happened tonight that is bigger than football, and uh, I hope the authorities take it on from here and deal with it in the right way. Can I ask you, can you tell us what was said to him? I wouldn't like to repeat the word. Um, it's obviously a ra racist comment. Um, it doesn't make sense to go up to someone during the game and cover your mouth and shout something down someone's ear when the game's uh, almost done. Um, out the blue to do something like that. And um, this, is the, this is not the type of person that would react in that way. Um, Glenn's a quiet kid. He's someone who I trust immensely. He's calm. Um, he's trustworthy. And... Um, I trust Glenn Kamara like one of my own kids. That's how strong I feel about the situation, and I will. I'll back him like one of my own as well. Was there any point after that where the players were prepared to walk off the pitch? Did they tell I, the referee? I tried, to, I tried to get Glenn's attention to come to me during the side. We're obviously not allowed to enter the field of play. Um, I wanted to... Well, I did ask Glenn the question, what do you want to do? Do you want, do you want to come off the pitch? Do you want to carry on? He said to me after the game he wasn't thinking straight, he wanted to just carry on, but he was obviously very upset. And what action now do you want taken? What, what have you said to UEFA? What's the process now? I think what I want to happen in terms of action and what will happen mm -hmm. uh, will be different. Um, too much of this is still in the game. Everyone's working extremely hard, or a lot of people are working extremely hard to eradicate it from the game. Um, I feel angry and upset myself right now. Um, but what I want to happen and what I'd like to happen probably won't happen. Is that the case? We've seen, you know, players taking the new managers, taking the well, new... Well, this is over to UEFA now. Mm -hmm. You know, the only way we can get this out the game is for the powers that be and the people in their positions to do more. Um, unfortunately, players and managers and, and supporters can only do so much to create awareness and, and do what we need to do. People in higher positions need to do more. And how disappointing is it that this is still happening in the game at any level, but specifically at a level such as this and on a night like tonight? It's sickening. Um, it's horrible. It's part of the game that um, it's just, it just shouldn't be shouldn't, shouldn't be happening. How will it make you feel if what you say happens, you, what you want to happen and what you think will happen will be two different things? What, what, how, how does the game move forward? The game will move forward. Um, this will probably become one of them incidents to add to all the other numbers of incidents that has happened and it'll die down and it'll settle and we'll move on and then we'll, I'll be sitting at home and, I, and I'll watch on the TV the next incident that happens mm -hmm. and it'll carry on, it'll carry on. And what incidences like that do is they make other situations escalate. Mm -hmm. You have fans now who are racially abusing all of our players, um, but it comes from that one incident. So if that one incident's not dealt with properly, mm -hmm. And the other incidents that have happened before, or it might happen again, if they're not dealt with properly and strongly and firmly in the right way, we're gonna we're gonna face, or other people are gonna face these situations, and it's it's not a good place to be in. So this is an opportunity that has to be dealt with, otherwise everything else is in vain. Sort of, sort of, yeah. But it, it, it's gonna come down to their player denying it and the people around him denying it, which is disappointing as well. 
which is disappointing as well. Because you did speak to their manager, didn't you, privately? Uh, and their the people are trying to defend mm -hmm. the accused. Um, but if, if, if I'm on their side, I want to know why the, the other player reacts like that. I want to know why Glenn Kamara's reacted that way. Mm -hmm. Players don't react that way for nothing. Plus, if you're saying something to someone, you're saying a certain word that's not racist, why you don't cover your mouth, you just say it. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to call you something on a football pitch, i just call you it. If you wanted to call me something, you just call me it. If I cover my hands and go to your ear, I'm trying to hide something. I'm trying to hide something. Mm -hmm. That's the situation we're in. How is Glenn Kamara now? In the worst possible place you can be. Mm -hmm. Visibly upset. Mm -hmm. Visibly upset. I, I, I've I've known this player for two and a half years, and I've never seen him like this. Is this one of the most challenging things you've experienced as a manager? Yes, um, but I've had a couple of incidences um, before. Um, not at this level, but um, they're just as important. And um, in this situation, I just want to show me players that. Uh, I'm with them, mm -hmm. um, and things that are above football, the results uh, are relevant right now because I want to support my player. I was going to say that it feels very difficult to speak about football given what we've just been talking about. I think now. that's why it was important to address the two results and um, you know to uh, accept that we were second best, uh, certainly for periods of the game. I thought we were well still in the game mm -hmm. uh, when we went 1-0 down, but obviously the sending off is a big turning point as well. And um, one thing I'll never do is make excuses or try and sugarcoat a poor situation. We got beat by the better team. That's on me. I'll take responsibility for that. But at the same time, sometimes things happen that are bigger than football. This is bigger than football and I want to stand by my players. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel you can now pick your players up ahead of the weekend? I'll do everything I can. Um, I'll, I'll speak to Glenn again once he's calmed down a bit and I'll speak to Glenn again in the morning I'll speak to my players in the morning as well and um, we'll try and prepare for, for an old firm and come kick-off we'll be ready to try and get a big result um, but right now I don't really feel like talking about mm -hmm. football or thinking about football right now.